Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I am starting this video out literally with a fish. I'm out of practice on this YouTube thing. I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately and apparently didn't turn my camera on. Realized that once I landed the fish, so thankfully we'll see the first one here. Doing a little combo trip out here today, catfish and carp fishing. Just got the first carp, so I'm gonna let him go get him out of here and then i'll give you the rundown of where i'm at and what i'm doing out here today i am fishing super shallow right now and i'll let me take the camera here and show you you can probably see here that's where i let that carp go but i've got my kayak anchored down here just a few inches deep as that sun comes out and wants to instantly blind me great time and on the sun it's been cloudy all up until i start talking to a camera let me turn this way but anyway, y'all don't care about that. I'm out here in a creek. Out here to my left is the main channel, which for this section of the river, about 30 foot deep or so. It comes up into this creek, which is really shallow. Again, I am anchored down a few inches deep. Where I had that bait cast out at is maybe a couple feet. And the way this creek works, so I'm fishing Watts Bar Reservoir of the Tennessee River. Back before they flooded this to make the reservoir, there was an old creek channel here that I'm in, but it was a much smaller creek channel. And that old original creek bed is kind of right in front of me. And it actually has some depth. It's like five, six foot deep, but it's not very wide. And on each side of that creek, it comes up from a few inches to a couple feet deep all the way back in through here. And so I've got my baits fan casted. I've got a carp rig over here kind of shallow. I've got a catfish bait on this one, a piece of cut bait, a cut skipjack head in that old creek channel that's a few feet deep. And then I've got two more carp baits over here. And so kind of just doing a combination trip today. I don't know if there's going to be any cats working up this shallow or not, but if they are, I want to have a bait out and I'm hoping to, hoping to get some carp up in here. That's what I really want today. That's what I'm in the mood for is to try to catch some carp. And that one there was a heck of a battle that you'll never see because I failed. I totally failed to start the video to hit the dang camera button. But anyway, that's the rundown. That's what I'm doing. That's where I'm at. I'm gonna get baited up again and hopefully catch some more fish today. Stay tuned. So I'm gonna get some more bait on here now. This is just a wire method feeder. These are available on Amazon. I have them linked down in the video description. I've got just a small four inch hair rig. That's a number six size hook down to a couple pieces of fake corn and i'm going to pack some pack bait onto this method feeder here and this is a combination of panko breadcrumbs strawberry jello and then i've got regular whole kernel sweet corn and cream style corn all mixed up in there together this pack bait's actually a few days old i used part of it on a recent live stream I just got my leftovers out here with me today. Here comes the sun again as we're getting ready to cast back out. That sun is in and out. It can't make up its mind. Let's cast over there. All right, again, short cast because this is a kind of just a narrow, narrow creek. It, it actually looks like it's much wider than it is. But once you get, once you get past the original creek bed, which just runs up in here, loops to the left and goes way back. Over there where that, I don't know if you can see that or not, that stick coming out and where that fish was at, that shad or whatever, a few inches deep. It's kind of just like over on that side, just like it is over here where I'm set up, just a few inches drops off. So what I've hoped to do with how I've positioned my baits is take advantage of fish that are swimming in and out of this creek they're pretty much forced to swim through my bait. So anything that moves through here, I got a free meal just waiting on them. Right here. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm hooked up again. Same rod. Same rod, y'all. Hopefully I've got the camera going for this one. <laughs> I can't believe I botched. I can too. I actually can believe I botched the last one. I'm amateur videographer here. But I had the fun of reeling that last one in, even though y'all didn't see it. It was fun. This one here, same spot there. The more I cast out, the more chum of that pack bait there is gonna hit the water and 
it's just going to keep drawing fish to that area. But again, the way I'm positioned, it don't matter which way they swim. If they come through that old creek channel, whether they coming in from the main river or from backing this creek out, they coming through me. I'm hoping to catch a few today. I'm set up to ambush them. This one here ain't gonna be quite as big as the last one, I don't think. He ain't acting like it anyway. Come over here, Carp. You got anything you wanna to say to the camera? Anybody you wanna shout out? He says he'll think about it while I need him. <clears throat> oh, oh, look at that. He just swam right back out of the net as soon as I got him in it. Let's try that again. That's a do-over right there. That fish wanted me to get some net practice, apparently. <laughs> nice, nice fish. Well, there he is, guys, there's that one. Just uh, maybe comparable size to the last one, maybe a little bit smaller. Not quite as long and as, as tough a fight as the last one, even though, again, you didn't see it. Dang, amateur videographer out here. Get him out of here. Old scarred up thing. But uh, fun times, y'all. Fun times. I'm telling you, this carp fishing, it's a lot of fun. When you get fish that fight this hard and you're fishing super shallow, they, got, they can't go up, they can't go down. It's side to side, and they make some incredible runs when they take off. So... Again, there could be some cats in here today, possibly, working up into the shallows, we're into fall. You wouldn't know it out here today. I mean, it's, I don't know what today is, November something, but it's 70 degrees out here today. It's, it feels like spring in the fall. But these, it's very possible that there could be some cats that come up in here, working some shad here in the shallows. And again, I wanna have a piece of cut bait out just in case, but I'm really hoping to catch some big carp today. So I'm gonna reload that pack bait, cast it out in that same general spot there where I got uh, that fish and uh, we'll just have some more chum out there for the next one that swims through. All oh, this same rod right here, same rod. Oh, it's on it, he's on it, he's on it. That same rod again, man. I'll catch up with him here. Ain't that something? Like this is such a narrow area. Oh, he just went, he went over the top of my other line. He went over the top of my catfish line. Oh, he's pulling. He's pulling drag. That is just the right spot to be catching fish, man. Again, I tried to hit, just fan cast it out here and I don't know if they're just taking this path or if they're just locking in on that scent. There is a little bit of movement here in this creek as far as water goes. I don't, either way, I'll take it. Don't matter to me which rod they hit. <laughs> I just want to catch them. He's going to take back off. <laughs> I tell you, folks, that sun has popped out. And at 70 something degrees, it's out right warm here. I mean, it feels like late spring right here in November. It's amazing. East Tennessee weather. The old saying, if you don't like it, wait a minute, it'll change. It could be frigid cold in November here, or it could be like today, 70 something degrees or anywhere in between. Getting this fit, getting this net fish. I can't get my words out here. Let's see, I did a little bit better job landing that one than I did the last one. There's another one of them old carp fish. People call these things trash, man, but you get fish this size and bigger that fight like the dickens you can call me the trash man buddy <laughs> i like them i've really i've really got into fishing for these this year and you know this one here is small compared to a lot of them that i that i get and they certainly get much bigger than this i boy look at that oh 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 he's mad he's mad at me i was trying to show you he's embarrassed i've busted this fish's lip and he's out of here, man. He wasn't having none of that. I got the best of that fish and he can't stand it, buddy. I busted his lip. All his friends gonna be making fun of him. 
he's over there. He's still. Let me see if I can get the camera. You can maybe see him right there. There he goes. The glare on the water. I don't know. I got the polarized glasses on here. I can see him. I don't know if you could or not. Just swimming off there. Probably contemplating on how he's going to retaliate against me. These carp will retaliate, man. They, they got a good memory. They hold a grudge on you. But uh, it's fun, man. I, I waited a little while, you know, to get that first bite. But um, the last two fish here have come pretty quickly now. And so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, the sun's coming out too. It's probably going to, the shallow water, it's going to heat it up today. Maybe a few degrees with as warm as it is because we, we had a cold stretch a couple weeks back, really started dropping the water temps. It's in the low to mid 60s, depending on where you're at. And I think today with the sun coming out and the shallow mud bottom here, I think it's probably going to heat it up a few degrees and we could get some active fish working through. Again, I'm I'm ambushing fish today. I have not baited this area in advance. This this particular creek from where I have to launch at to access it, it's about 30 minutes each way by kayak for me to get here. So it's just it ain't convenient for me to come out and chum an area in advance here. It's just kind of to show up and wing it and hope for the best, but how I've positioned it's, it's again, I'm hoping to ambush fish here. So enough of me doing this flapping the guns. I'm gonna throw another bait out. We're gonna try it again. So y'all, here's the next bait going out again. That's just pack bait on the method feeder. This is my first year using this kind of stuff. In the past when I had been carp fishing, and again, I am not an experienced carp fisherman by any stretch, but I had just always just used regular corn just take you a can of sweet corn put it on a hook and just take the rest of the can and kind of chum the water with it and get them eating that corn and it you know it works you catch fish doing that well this year i kind of tried to take it a little bit more seriously tried to learn a little bit more you know and got into the using the pack baits and the hair rig and using uh, you know, the fake corn on there, which is a lot more durable. You don't have to keep putting it on the hook every time you catch a fish. And this year, my catches have went way up. I mean, both size and numbers of fish. But as far as the pack bait I'm using, I've been using this Panko Jello corn mix since I got into the pack bait. That was the first recipe I found on the Catfish and Carp channel, and it caught fish in the spring. It caught them in the summer and it's catching fish now in the fall. And you talk to people, other carp fishermen and stuff, they've all got their own famous recipe, their own secret mix and concoction. And to me, I don't know that it really matters. I think if you can just draw fish in with something and have something on a hook for them to eat, I think you're gonna catch them. And so this mixture here that I've been using, it's cheap to buy. It's readily available at any grocery store and it keeps well you know in a few days i i can just stick it in a in a bag here uh, this is like a i think a two gallon freezer bag i mix up a big batch of it and it'll keep a few days you refrigerate it it'll keep even longer than that so it's one of them things that there's a bunch of other recipes i should probably try but when i'm getting the results and having success that i'm having with this it's like why change if what you're doing's working look right here look right here he got it then, that's on the catfish bait. That's on the piece of cut bait. Oh, I just pulled it out of his mouth too. Must be another one of them old channel cats. He chewed it up a little bit, didn't he? Let's switch that out. I had a head on to start, nothing messed with it. When I refreshed my cart baits a little while ago, I put on a chunk of skip and it's, in the short time it's been out there, them channel cats are, I, it could be a turtle too, possibly. Who knows? They shredded that thing. Let's do it again. Oh, oh, my catfish bait. Oh, yeah, we got him. Oh, he swam a little bit too, buddy. He's going to the right. I had it cast over more toward the left. Y'all, this is... I see him out there. I hope it ain't another dang channel cat. I hope it's a blue or something. He's small. This is the first action I've had in probably an hour or more the weather changed on me here it was sunny it's cloudy earlier this morning the sun palmed out warmed up you know and uh over the last 30 45 minutes more clouds have rolled in the wind has picked up 
and I the bite I thought was about to turn on just never really materialized anymore. Oh, it is a dang old channel. That's a little bigger one than I normally get. Most of the time, you know, I get them channels. Lay this some little tiny things. This one here ain't no monster or nothing, but he's a little, at least a little bigger, bigger than normal. That bait right there is shredded too. These old channel cats, man. Y'all know I hate these things. This one here, he's an old ugly thing. You get in these creeks and the backwaters, you're going to run into this fella. They just, they plague you when you're fishing in the shallows. You, you try to throw out a piece of cut bait and water that's, you know, less than 10 feet deep here in East Tennessee, whether it's creeks or flats or whatever, you're going to get pestered with channel cats and turtles. Guaranteed. It's just, that's how it is. But it was nice to get a bite again. Like I said, it has been a while. You can see up here, all these clouds just moved in, the wind just kind of come out of nowhere picked up and so i don't know i don't know if that had anything to do with the bite kind of shutting down or if them other fish that i caught had just kind of worked through the area bit and then just haven't had any more fish moving since then i don't know either way i'm gonna fish another hour or so and hopefully get some more bites in the meantime so here's the next bait going out that's another chunk of skipjack and i've got that just on a Carolina rig. I got a one ounce egg sinker here down to a 10 aught hook. And this is a, I've got the same rods here that I'm using for the carp out here today. This is a catfish sumo chopstick. And this reel was given to me. One of my viewers, been a long time viewer, Ed from Oklahoma, give me this at the Kansas City Catfish Conference. It's a Daiwa BG 4500. I had mentioned on the live streams that I've got a let me get this cast out and I'll show you. Hopefully got that out there in that old original creek channel that's a few feet deeper, hopefully. But I mentioned it before on, on live streams and stuff that I had got me a new reel for the carp fishing. And it's this one right here. It's a Daiwa BG4000 model. Again, that's the 4500 that he got me. I don't know if I said that right or not. But I like the 4,000 size. It's been really good for the carp fishing. It's got a little bit more line capacity than the 3,000 series reels that I've been using. So on the days where I'm either fishing deeper water or making really long casts, that reel can accommodate it. And Ed was like, well, I got this other 4,500 series. I'm not using it. I'll gladly give it to you. I was like, well, heck yeah, I'll take it. So he brought it out there to the catfish conference he give me that and some other things so pretty cool uh meeting him and and that reel there putting it to use unfortunately put it to use on a channel cat i hope i don't catch any more channel cats today we get another catfish i hope it's a blue or a flathead but anyway got that piece of cut bait back out there got my pack bait here just kind of fan cast it and uh you know we'll see we'll see what happens i may I may refresh this pack bait here in a little while, just to get some more, get some more scent out there, see if we can get some fish going. But I really think we need some fish moving through this area. And I don't know, I just assume they're not here. Who knows, they could just be snubbing their nose at it. Maybe today's one of them days I should have tried one of the other thousand carp bait recipes. I think something's after this rod right here. I saw my line jump. Let's watch that rod tip go down. Watch that thing go down. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, we hooked up again. We hooked up again. He's headed to the left, he says. He's picked his direction. He may change his mind and go back the other way. <laughs> I saw my line jump. And at first I thought maybe it was the wind. Uh, I saw it take off again. Yeah, it had been a long time since... And I don't. I say I don't even know if this is a carp. I may not want to. Yeah, I believe. I believe it is. Catfish ain't gonna feel like that. It's been a long time. The bite I thought was about to turn on there after I'd got those others so close together, just didn't materialize. 
I'm gonna blame this weather, whatever's moving in here. I thought it was gonna be sunny all day. It's still warm. But I thought it was supposed to be sunny, but these clouds and the winds picked up. I hope this fish went over that other line and didn't get in it. He's fighting, man. He's, he's pulling this fish. Is, he said he's been waiting his whole moment. His whole moment. He's, <laughs> he's been waiting his whole life for this moment. I've been out of the YouTube game so long on these regular videos, I can't get my words out. I guess I probably shouldn't take as long a break next time. I've been doing some stuff, been messing around with camera gear and whatnot. Got a new camera today I'm messing with. For those of you still watching at this point in the video, probably ain't but five or six of you still left watching. I'm gonna get y'all to give me some feedback on this thing today. I guess this carp here, man, he, he wants to be, he had his designated lane that he was supposed to be landed in over here on this side, but he said he wanted to get over here as another gust of wind comes along, blows my net into the rod there. I'm in bad shape, y'all. Now we, now we we're doing what we need to do here. Okay, we got him. We got him, folks. Let's bring him in one time. That's the that's the biggest one of the day so far. All right, y'all. Here we go. Here's this one. I think thus far, I think this one's probably the biggest. He fall hard too. Look at his tail. You see that that bright orange there? At least on that side. I don't know if it's on the other or not. Look, the very tip of it's just bright orange. What do you think about that fish? Did you did you plant it like that? Or is that like some kind of birthmark? He's the starstruck. He can't speak right now. <laughs> Get out of here, old carp. Oh. Splashed me good on the way out too. Uh, that one there ate the hook what had the kernels of corn, like real kernels of corn, just directly on the hook shank. I'm down to the last of my fake corn. And so that one there I didn't have a I didn't have a fake corn put on it, but I just had like three or four kernels of corn on the shank. But that's the first carp in a while. And again, I don't know if it's just weather or just shutting down or or what but i'm putting a little time in here this morning and uh the few fish i'm getting man they're a good time well guys i have had another really long spell here over an hour since that last fish just nothing going on no taps no nothing it's just kind of kind of dead in here today so had fun with the fish that i caught wish there had been more of them I always wish that no matter how many fish I catch though, but I uh, think I'm gonna get on out of here, go get me some lunch, go let old Daphne the dog out the house. I'm sure she's ready to get out of her crate by now. And uh, for those of you that are watching, there's probably maybe five left at this point in the video that may be an optimistic number. Anyway, trying out a new camera today. Give me some feedback on it. Is it better? Is it worse? Is it terrible? Is it tolerable? I'd be curious for my regular viewers because I the only people that's watching at this point in the video. Give me your feedback on it. The positive in it for me is it has worked today, which is more than I can say for my last camera, which was so unreliable. So I'd be curious to see what people think of this one and see what the footage looks like when I get home there. So anyway, I'm going to take it to the house. Hope y'all have enjoyed the video. Let's do it again soon. See you then.